Hello, it's Friday the 19th, I'm FX Plu, uh, and this is the Market Brief. So there's hope that the announcement on Monday, the roadmap announcement from Boris, will set the tone for the economic recovery ahead. Cross your fingers for cautious optimism. Despite the pent-up demand, which is likely to drive inflation a little bit higher in the short term, uh, we still have a huge number of businesses that will be struggling to get back to their pre-pandemic performance. Of course, retail is expected to see an impressive bounce back, and indeed, we have retail sales data out today to shine a light on that sector. But forecasts for the manufacturing and services, they suggest the sectors may struggle to retain customers and compete for orders. Um, so Sunak will want to uh, deliver a pretty optimistic budget on the 3rd of March. Uh, but he'll also know that any meaningful reduction in support could very easily damage the recovery. Monday should provide some clarity for the hospitality sector, which is likely to remain the most affected for the longest. It's not like we'll be actively encouraged to go back to the pubs, sad though that may be. Uh, the sector will therefore need support to remain in place until the restrictions are over. But like I said, cross your fingers for cautious optimism, but expect some warnings about a, a long road ahead until we're in the clear. Meanwhile, sterling remains pretty well supported by the vaccination trade, where the UK is leading the way amongst the G7 nations, and the currency is continuing continuing its ascent, moving towards the 140 level against the dollar. Yesterday we topped out at around 139.85 and we head into the weekend from a launch pad of 139.75. 25 pips away. Do you think today might be the day? US weekly jobless claims rose when a quite significant fall was expected. This illustrates the need for a stimulus package to bolster the jobs market. But hope is that we may get finally get a formal announcement on that package sometime next week. But employment remains a key challenge for the new administration as trends in the labour market remain concerning. Uh, there's still a bit of a shadow uh, cast from the downward revision to December's non-farm payrolls and we've still got a couple of weeks to go before the Feb data provides the next update but you already know that counting down the days until the next sweepstake I know your game um, euro dollar moved away from the 120 support level um, we nearly saw 121 actually uh, against a slightly weaker dollar, uh, but 121 is indeed where we open this morning. Have a great weekend. Join me again next week. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue. Yeah.